Hello everybody, Rusted Ground here. I'm joined by my friend uh, Netstorm. Hey man. Hey, welcome back. Hi, how are you man? Ah, I'm great. Uh, can't wait to continue our adventure. Yeah, I bet man. <laughs> it's been a while <laughs> since we, yeah. we last recorded. So, uh, do you remember what we did last time? Well, yeah, actually it was, uh, it was a bit of a surprise. <laughs> um, <laughs> We finally ended up at the, the crime scene to, to, to investigate the, uh, the murder. Yep. And somehow got teleported to the end of time. And uh, yeah, apparently we're not only here to solve a murder, we're, we're here to, well, save the world. Apparently, yeah, an easy task. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we have to find these uh, stones. Uh, it's not really clear, and nobody could tell us uh, why we're linked to these stones or why these stones can help um, save the world. But apparently, the world is saving, and here we are. Yeah, because there's a what's it called? There's this uh, dragon that is eating up the time or something, right? Am I getting this? Yeah, something. Yeah, something's happening to time, especially. So we have to prevent that. Yeah. And uh, these stones have seem to be the way to do it. Yep. And we saw one of these stones uh, uh, being taken from a crypt yep. uh, by a sorcerer. Yep. That would be probably the first part yeah. of the, the adventure. Exactly, yeah. And uh, also these uh, one of these stones is involved in the in the crime. In our, so yeah. that's our best bet. In the counselor's uh, crime, yeah, exactly. So it seems yeah. that the counselor had was a stone hunter or something like that? A collector, Collector, I think. yeah. Okay, a stone collector, yeah. So, um... It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, so I guess we should uh, well can go back to the crime scene and actually see what's there for this time because last time we just got teleported. Yeah, I think we should do that. So yeah, let's uh, let's move on here. I think we should go this way because the crime scene. Just give me yeah, a second. Yeah, it's in this uh, it's in this tavern over here. Yeah, but the 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 entrance is on the other side. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So oh, this guy again? Yeah, I think he's here. <laughs> he just he's just trying to recruit more people. So you're just hanging around the inn. Okay, let's see. Waiting for what? What's going on here? Let's let's have a chat here. What is this? Oh, you think you can speak that way to a well suffice to say it, I've got my eye on you. Who is this now? I am a duke. Potato eating peasant. Yeah. <laughs> they don't seem to be getting along. Yeah, uh, Madora, leader in sight. Oh, really? Uh, and the Duke of Feral. Okay, let's talk to the Duke first. Okay. Who the devil are you? Tell your masters I'd prefer to talk to them. Whoops, sorry, my mistake here. My mistake. I had the uh, I had uh, uh, beer daughter selected, so let me try this again. Oh, hello. <laughs> I suppose you're here to viciously interrogate me for information I don't have, like our noble Captain Aureus before Oh, you. he was interrogated, huh? Okay. Yeah, maybe we should just uh, cut to the chase. And, uh, okay, what so what do you know about Jake's burnt murder? Yeah. It's very tragic news. I won't posture and say that the Counselor and I were anything near allies, but I truly never wish the man harm. Uh, okay. Tell me about yourself, then. I am the Duke of Feral, though I suppose my name is in the mouths of enough ruthless gossipers that you've heard of me by no, now. No, not really. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it seems that's yeah. it. Let's see, who was he chatting to earlier? Yeah, he was chatting to... Oh, look, a cat. Okay, go, go, go. Do I seem like the sort who concerns myself with such things? Never saw you in the King Crab before. You're welcome to scratch me behind the ears if you like. I won't scratch back. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. Who are you? I am Unsinkable Sam. <laughs> At least that's what they call me around here. He used to be a ship's cat, but the clipper I was on sank when I was the only one to wrestle himself free from the waves. The people here were kind and took me in. Been the King Crab's foremost patron ever oh, since. A swimming cat. Yeah. Um, you think you can speak that way? Well, okay, so let's see about the ship. A magnificent ship she was. Used to belong to a pirate, I was told. Unlike me, she didn't prove to be unsinkable, though. 
We hit the cliffs right neath the lighthouse. Not very apt a name for that building, I must say, for no light was shining from it. <laughs> Okay. The moment okay. I hit water, I writhed around like I would on a hot tin roof. By some miracle, I managed to reach the beach, covered in kelp and smelling worse than a fish's funeral parlor. But I was alive, and that was more than anybody else could say. Um, okay, let's change the subject. Maybe. No, 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 no. Go for it. You, you were okay. the only survivor. Yeah. So I was. What friends I had! They drowned alongside the rats I used to hunt in the galley. And there I was, all okay. alone. Single survivor, okay. And Not that I have it bad here, mind you. I've milk and fish aplenty. Most folks will pet me kindly, and when one of the village girls holds me tight against her ample bosom, <laughs> I purr up a storm. But I do long for a companion of my own kind. And in that regard, there is no one like Here we Maxine. go, here we go. Who is this Maxine? <laughs> okay, about Maxine. Maxine. The mayor's darling. Oh, she's another pet. cat. <laughs> so gentle, so fair a feline. The grace of her whiskers, the subtle palette of dyes Jesus. in her sable coat. She's one of a kind, that cat. She likes me. I know she does. But when I declare my love, she backs away. I don't know why. I have serenaded her and braved many a bucket of water for my efforts. But. <laughs> For some reason, she is not to I be I bet swayed. you were going to hook this, these guys up. <laughs> well, only if we find Maxine, but <laughs> yeah. okay. Uh, that's the other question. By all means. Uh, do you think he can tell us anything? Yeah, let's... Come on, let's let's uh, let's see what he can say. Okay, let's about go. the undead. People make a fuss about them because they endanger the lands around the city. They never bother me when I'm out for my monthly walk. Monthly though. walk. <laughs> but still... I do test them. I mean, they're so unnatural, aren't they? Cats can have nine lives, but humans are only entitled to one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, orcs? No, don't mention orcs to me. Worse than dogs, that lot. Sank Walrus Willie's boat right from under him. Best anchovy fisher in the world he was. A loss to <laughs> okay. us all. Okay, yeah. Cool, let's... So I think uh, this... Uh... Lady. Yeah, the, the one lady over there. To. Yeah, let me so see here. Catch her. Back, demon! Back, or I'll... Well, Whoa. what's this? Oh, <laughs> Madara, you lummox. Okay. A thousand pardons, comrade. This old bear is edgier than a dodecahedron <laughs> these days. Okay. I'll tell you, it sure does me good to set eyes on another of our order. From Academy West, aren't you? Give Captain Wartrus my regards next time you see me. what she's talking I about? I have no idea what she's... What the hell? <laughs> Who did you say you were? I don't recognize you from the academy. <laughs> we went to the same school or what the hell? Okay. <laughs> you wouldn't. I trained up in Academy North after all. We don't cross paths with you Westies all that often. But it's always a pleasure when we do. Madar is the name. Retired. Or so the Order keeps trying to tell me. <laughs> but never out of commission. My hand to your cause and my sword at Hello. your side. Hello. I hadn't heard of another source hunter being assigned to Sysio. What are you doing here? Heavens, hornets! That's quite a story, comrade. And come to think of it, one that might oh, concern really? you. Oh, really? Please do tell. See, I'm here on, well, let's call it a loan from a town to the north of here. Hunter's Edge by name. There's been an attack there, comrade. Orcs. Not your run-of-the-mill savages, either. But ones who've taken dark magic to new heights. Warlocks. <laughs> Great. <laughs> what they want in Hunter's Edge, I can't say. But it's my responsibility to send them packing. Preferably with their horns in their suitcases, and a knee-knocking fear of ever crossing paths with a sauce hunter again. Okay. I came south seeking the Legion's help, only to find it tied here in Sicile. They don't have a spare soldier to send northward, and even in my finest form, I can't clear the place of that many orcs without that. But why are you still here then? Um, can well, let's go ahead that? with uh, yeah. Orcs attacked your village. How did you escape? By the skin of my teeth, comrade. The savages were rounding up villages when one of them activated a tripwire on our village wizard's property. Fortunately for me. 
That particular wizard has a penchant for things that go boom in the Don't night. Be all. <laughs> I managed to wrench free of my captor's grip and flee toward the forest. He pursued me for miles, but I'd lost him before I made it into the Sassil hinterlands. I don't know, her story sounds a little bit weird. Saffrons, I yeah, actually, and I don't see how did the how did the orcs get from the sea to the north? I mean, isn't didn't they have to buy, pass the uh, Psy Seal to get there? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let's let's see here. What's your next plan of attack? Well, comrade, I hadn't thought of it till you tapped my oh, shoulder really? just now. But perhaps that's oh, what you great. Uh, sure. Okay. I need a contingent I can trust if I'm to take back the town. And the way I see it, you could use reinforcements here in town. I've been scouting Sicile for some time now, and I believe I've sussed out sufficient intel to help solve the murder of you the know, you don't say. <laughs> With our minds and swords in tandem, we'll make short work of the perpetrator. So that's your proposition. You help us here in Sicile, and we help you take back your home village thereafter? Well, you know the old expression. Two's a tea party, three's an invasion. <laughs> sure. I know this place like the back of my hand by now. And the orcs up north will be short work for a trained up trio of sauce hunters. Uh, okay. Whoa. Okay, so I think we can recruit her? I think we, we, we should talk if we, if we want to accept her offer. So a fantastic plan with three source hunters working in tandem will put an end to the devil's bent against uh, this fair land. Or we can't in good conscience take on a task so far removed from our current mission. To be honest, I don't think we should take the task on. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's probably not for now, but yeah. we don't know when we'll end up uh, doing that. Yeah, so I'm going to go with, with we can't in good conscience take on a task so far removed from our current okay. mission. We can't in good conscience take on a task so far removed from our current mission. Come now, Alistair. Sure we wish you luck, Medora, but for now, we'll go it alone. And so should you. Whoa, okay. By the demon's tomb, I never thought I'd live to see a sauce hunter dismiss an eager comrade. That's what they teach you about loyalty at Academy West. Ouch. Uh, I think we made a friend here. Yeah. Well, you're lucky we Northies have a certain expression. Better to do right the second time than never at all. So if you change your mind about joining forces, I'll be okay. happy to hear it. I comrade. actually think that she will come with us. Uh, and help us out, and then at one point, she will will want us to help her. Anyway, let's uh, let's continue. Even if we refuse her offer, yeah, I think so. No, I mean right now, if we accept her offer, she might join us, just like Beer Daughter. I think so. Anyway, let's see, let's see, let's talk to Anna. Uh, what have we okay. here? A source hunter, is it? Well, my day just became rather more stimulating. Well, stand still then, if you don't mind. I want to take a good long look at the so-called savior of Sicil. So-called savior of Sicil, okay. Tall as an elf, strong as an orc, but your face, quite <laughs> classical, isn't it? She doesn't like your face. Statuesque, some might say. Yes, smooth and sturdy as marble. Yet fine as a chisel. No, I think she's saying that my face is too perfect for her taste. That's what I think she's saying here. <laughs> sure. And my word, what passion burns from your eyes. Please forgive my being forward, but I I dare say, can it be? You Check this out. Well you're exactly the person <laughs> I've been searching for. Should I just leave you two alone? <laughs> I think you might have to in a few in a few minutes. Um <laughs> You've been searching for someone? That I have. For nearly a lifetime, it seems. Well, I'm sure you must know what I mean. Like existence itself lacked a significant component. Like if you could only fill a certain <coughs> void, could connect with the right okay. body, the right spirit. Together you could uncover new and thrilling Oh man, pieces. she wants to marry me, I think. I believe I have found that component, that body, that spirit within you, Source Hunter. Come, 
If ever we are to be united, oh, okay. we must truly entwine our fates. We must link our causes forevermore. What the hell? Yes, you must join the fabulous five. Oh, oh my God! As soon as time permits. Together, as a team, we'll explore the boundless realm before us. We'll uncover fate, inch Sh by inch. See, we should have spoken to her first. <laughs> I don't know. I would have uh, accept I accepted her offer way faster than the other guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but now the other guy is going to get the commission, so... Yeah, you're right. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about yourself, and then we'll just leave her, because... <laughs> I am Anna, jewel in the crown that is the fabulous okay. vibe. I've cut a thousand throats, and baked a thousand bread rolls, stolen the crown jewels of the Queen of Arata, and, with my pockets full, helped her reach enlightenment. Wow, she's quite something, isn't she? <laughs> when the day comes that I die, the gods will evacuate the heavens to make space for my formidable collection of designer slippers. <laughs> okay. I contain multitudes, you see, and I am utterly replete. Except that, much to my dismay, I had as yet to find the companion to whom my heart so clearly then, Source Hunter, you yeah, wandered into this tavern, one. and I, oh, I am most certain that that companion okay, is you. Okay, I'll take my leave now. Thank you, but um, yeah. tell me. do you wanna <clears throat> check out the, the room? Yeah, let's check out the room. Yeah. Yeah. But we we should. I, I think we should talk to people. Around. Yeah, we should talk some more and maybe Whoops. look around some more. But I think it's this way. let's go in here. Okay, so we have a letter from the Duke of Feral. It's official. The, guy we just the Duke of Feral is the worst poet in. Just give me a second. In his defense, not much rhymes with murder. Can I just read the letter? Uh, read the letter. Dearest Esme, your lips are red as esmeralds. Emeralds, sorry, what the hell? Your hair is black as birch. Your love is like cholesterol. And oh, my heart, it hurts. <laughs> I want to hold you in my arms and stroke your little head. And all this would be easier if Counselor Jake were dead. <laughs> oh. Forever yours, the D of F. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, apparently we can talk to each other. Yeah, 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 just give me a second here, so let's do this. Everything we do seems to fortify your abilities. Okay. What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why we... <clears throat> We're talking about this. Um, okay, let's go with this. I suppose your example has inspired me to reach heights <laughs> I never before envisioned. <laughs> There's no experience to be won from pestering me with <laughs> vapid flattery. <clears throat> okay. What the hell? Just give me a second here. If if you press uh, the inventory button, we have some. Uh, I, oh, I have an an available oh, uh, ability. Yeah, that's what happened. I think we leveled up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Jesus. Um, oh, don't sneak. Uh, lock picking, pickpocketing, sneaking. Oh my god. Craftsmanship. Ship. Okay. Uh, crap. So. Did you put some points in craftsmanship? Craftsmanship, yeah. Yeah, I own. No, but I thought I had. Didn't you have blacksmithing? Yeah, but I don't anymore. That's weird. This is weird. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how many available points do you have? One in uh, abilities and one talent. Okay, but so let, let's go with uh, with abilities. So I think one of us should focus on blacksmithing and crafting, and the other one on lore master and telekinesis. Okay, but uh, I, I don't get what happened because I ha I already had some points and now I have zero in everything on uh, abilities. What? Yeah, I don't have anything in weapons or. Oh, and. I think there's a bug because <clears throat> even my um, uh, stats on the left, they're all uh, reduced to 5 and I know I had like 8 dexterity and I don't know, 7 constitution, or, no not constitution, uh, intelligence and perception. Shit, okay that's so, bad. 
I don't know. Uh, okay, maybe we need to look into this. Yeah, well, um, it's okay. I won't uh, use my points now. And uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, okay, yeah, we'll look into this, because I don't think we're going to get into any fights for now. Uh, I think we, we should just talk to everybody around here, yep. and then we'll, we'll try to figure this out. Uh, okay. okay. So, there's a stone on the ground, uh, probably the one that... One man's trash is another man's <laughs> trash! Or it's not the one we thought. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just his inert stone. I don't know what it's about. Okay. Hello. One man's trash <laughs> is another man's trash. Nothing else, it seems. There's a painting here. <clears throat> <laughs> Actually, two of them. Okay, man. Let's let's take them. It's uh, evidence. Boom. Uh, okay. Nobody saw so us. So nothing else, right? Yeah, nothing else exactly. Okay, uh, do you want to talk to the Duke again, now that uh, he seems to be Let's involved go. in this? Let's go! do this! Where is he? Where is he? Here he is. Yeah. Ah, hello. I suppose you're here to viciously interrogate me for information I That's don't That's exactly. Have, like our noble Captain Aureus yeah, before Yeah, I you. found your love letter, my friend. Which one? I've written, Esmeralda, more works of lyrical mastery than I can count. All that letter proves is my devotion to my lady, not any actual intention to do away with Jake. Yeah, and apparently he can't count to zero. <laughs> what do you mean? He's, uh, he can't uh, count the works of literary, uh, lyrical uh, mastery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, wrote. Yeah. What do you... <laughs> um, so what do I do here? I'll take my leave? I think so. Well, yeah, I don't. I don't think, think he has can... anything else yeah. to say, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, Alistair, can we talk to the bartender or something? Well, which one is the, the bartender? Uh, let's see if we can. So the tavern here. Yeah. This guy running around. Yeah, the... exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Boom! Come on. Ah, to welcome to the King Cabin, and a pleasure to have you. You look like you could use a round or three, so what'll it be? Have a seat and stay a while. Tell me about yourself, my friend. The name's Ivad. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I've been offering the weary travellers of Sicile drink and rest for nearly two decades now, but the King Crab's older than that by a long shot. Okay. All you see before you is the manifestation of my great-grandpappy Horatius Dunganess's noble vision. Beer and naps for everyone. No questions and asked. how's business around here? Well, between you and me, things have been rather slow since the, uh, incident. <laughs> but with spirits high and liquor flowing like it is tonight, it seems a crab may just come out of that What do you know about Jig's murder? Mind if we keep our voices down over that sensitive subject? Death and dark magic ain't exactly great for business, Okay, let's you know. hear what you know about the night of the murder. That room where it happened, it, it was rented to a certain woman. Though I regret to say I can't say exactly who. This inn isn't in the business of asking many questions, if you know what I the, mean. The woman might be the sorceress. That yeah, is, uh, or Esmeralda, or... Yeah. I don't know. She came heavily cloaked, but paid the full sum in advance. I was used to such transactions after many similar concerning uh, a certain <laughs> Esmeralda. Figured this were just more at okay. same. I saw one other figure go into the room that night. Someone tall, built broad like a man, but shrouded the same as she. Again, standard practice for Mrs. Counselor and her visitors. I was startled awake by a horrendous hubbub shortly after midnight. I jumped up and grabbed me grandpappy's machete, bleary-eyed in a washing fright. By the time I burst into that room, it was horribly silent. There was only Jake on the floor, dead, surrounded by what may as well have been a battlefield. Whoever done it has escaped through the window, but I saw nary a saw when I looked out. 
You can bet I hightailed it to the Legion barracks faster than a jackrabbit after okay, that. Okay, and do you suspect anyone? Councillor Jake, that poor man. I knew too much about his affairs, you know. Never figured it my business to say anything, but after all that's happened, I wonder if that weren't a grave mistake. Esmeralda's longest standing lover has the audacity to remain lodged at this very inn, you know. He's called the Here Duke of Ferrell. A high title for a low man. If you haven't yet asked him about Esmeralda... We I'd already recommend. did, but... Yeah. Okay. So... Maybe we... Well, so this Duke uh, seems... Uh, oh, there's an entrance to... I don't know. I think... Uh, the basement here? Yeah, there's one other guy here called Francis in this room. And... Let's uh, have a chat with him. Okay. Greetings, traveler. And may the immaculate conduit's myriad blessings comfort and cradle you. Tell me, have you yet heard <laughs> the ah, here we go. Is he gonna talk about the Fabulous Five again? I think so. What's in a name, dear friend? For we all begin equal in the conduit's eyes? And only through great deeds may enter into her inner ring. What revelation do you mean exactly? You mean you haven't heard? Oh, what fortune that I may share the goddess's salvation with one who has, as yet, been <clears throat> lost. Steal yourself, friend, for your mortal spirit could be forever transformed from yep, this definitely. moment forth. The Selling us the are linked to the five. goddess herself has given us a special gift, and the gift is thus... I think... So I'm, I'm just gonna uh, pause here. So I think the, the Fabulous Five is actually the Fabulous Five uh, best salesman <laughs> in Sysiel. Yeah, it could be. By following her instructions and becoming initiated into the one way, we can each of us live on for a span greater than the number of stars that twinkle within the goddess's right eye. Do you want to continue with this or stop? Yeah, I I'm not sure if it's about the uh, Fabulous yeah, Five. Yeah, I think either. it's another... Uh... <laughs> okay, let's, let's see what do, you, what do you mean by the one way. Ah, for this hallowed information, you must seek an immaculate chapel. Go north, friend, through the forest and into the town of Silver Glen. Where all may be uh -huh. revealed. Or, or just get robbed and killed. <laughs> there, among her followers and friends, dwells the goddess's ecstasy. Her one way... Tell me more about this conduit. She came from on high to we mortals and showed us the path to the goddess, where all living souls are naturally inclined. She showed us that injury and malady need not mark the end of life, but that through her methods we could ascend to greater life in service of the goddess. Okay. I'll take my leave. Go on the path to the righteous, my friend. Forget not that the conduit has great plans for you. Okay, let's uh, let me just check the map here and see he says he's an immaculate. Strange cave. But I thought they'd been banished after the death of the Yeah, I don't see king. what he was talking about, but probably we'll just end up around there and find it. Yeah, what do we have here? A short <laughs> history of the seven gods. Yeah, we can't do anything else around here. Okay. So, what do we do now? Do we go, uh... Do we go... Well, we can go upstairs or to the basement. Let's go down... Let's go upstairs first. See what we have here. Folded shirts, citizens. We have some citizens. I don't think we need to talk to them right now. Oh, what's this in the corner? That's what I was wondering, but I can't. There's nothing like you can't really do anything. Looks like spider web. Yeah, yeah, it does. Oh shit, we can't even look in the baskets. That is weird. <laughs> but we can look in here. No, we can't. What the hell? There's someone here? Actually, I can look inside. Okay. There are cloth scraps. Okay, you do that then. I'm just going to... Under lock and Ooh, key. Ooh, we have a locked door here. 
Pam 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 pam. Well, you can. Uh, somebody's here. Stop. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not doing anything. Around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to have another uh, <clears throat> incident. Yeah. I can, uh... That's enough of that Shit. now! Oh. <laughs> Whoops! It's okay. I'm sorry. <clears throat> ta -ta -ra -ta -ra. I didn't do anything. My bad. I let her pass, and I'll try sneaking uh, to see inside the chest. Sneaking yeah. successful. Oh, I got a... Ooh, Oop. we have... Um, we have something interesting here. We'll have none of that, you hear? Okay. Okay. Let, let's let's stop doing stuff around here. Okay. We can't talk to each other. Apparently. Another perfect heist. <laughs> you sneak with the subtlety of a tried and true cat burglar. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. You're calling me a thief, are you? A base and petty criminal? More the fool you if you think you're better than me. Actually, I think your uh, remark was uh, for the successful part, and it wasn't uh, sarcastic. Hold your horses! I was complimenting you! To remain undetected and strike without being perceived requires great skill. <laughs> it's you in a well, I'll just take it as a compliment. <laughs> okay, so we okay. have someone in this room here who has a bodyguard. In here. Okay. Here. Well, let's talk to her. Greetings, greetings. Oh, you are most welcome in my chamber. Customers rarely find me up here, but I do so abhor the hustle and bustle of the marketplace. I take it you're a traveling merchant? That I am. I have spent more of my life on the road traveling alongside great caravans than I have in any given place in Rivalon. All of this earth is my home, for a few days or even but a few hours at a time. That's why that she is. has a bodyguard. Yeah. Because. You wouldn't believe some of the things I have seen. Oh yes, a city besieged by the dead isn't even remotely special to me. All the better that it isn't for you and for me, because outlandish events lead to outlandish wares. Let's discuss your wares then. Oh, but let us not discuss... Let us browse and Okay, barter. straight to the point. Uh, whoa, okay. You, you can't see what I see, right? No, no. anything uh, interesting. Okay, let me just see here. So she has a toxic grenade, smoke grenades, water balloons. Uh, then, scoundrel. What is this, man? She has some books here. Um... So, Walk in the Shadow skill book, 100% uh, chance to set invisible status for 5 turns. Nice. Fast track, 100% chance to, s to set hastened status for 2 turns. Poison status, winged feet. Now, she has a lot of stuff. She also has... Le Ooh, wait a second. Uh, she has some special uh, leather armor. You might be interested okay. in that. Yeah. Okay. She also has a special... What is this? Ring of... Old copper ring of fire resistance. Okay. And she has some boots. Fortifying antique cloth, cloth shoes. Okay, I don't think cloth would be interesting. I'll let you browse her wares. Uh, yeah, I'll let you browse her wares and see if you like anything she has. Okay, okay? just talk to her. Okay, so witchcraft and scoundrel, so no, the books aren't good for me. Ooh, she has lockpicks. Uh huh. This could come in useful. Okay. Um, well, but I, I don't have any more money. Uh, they cost four, 450. Uh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, just a second here. Yeah, I found. Uh, yeah, the chest seems to be good. For me, um, oh, there are more than uh, there are three of them. Uh huh. Okay. A ring. Yeah, we definitely. Oh well, yeah, but they're uh, they're pretty expensive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> 
yeah, we can. Uh, well, we can continue, and uh, we'll see when we get money. Maybe get back to her, and. Uh, yeah, actually, I think I think we should stop uh, this uh, this episode here. Uh, we can also uh, take this opportunity to to look at why you don't have uh, the points and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please give a like. If you didn't, give a dislike. We'll continue the adventure here uh, in the next episode. As you can see, there's a lot of talking with everybody. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll get to see some action quite soon. I'm very curious to see what we find in the basement. Yeah, yeah, that should be... <laughs> There, there should be something there. There's always something in the exactly. basement. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, yeah. and we will see you next time, okay? Yeah, next time. See you. Bye-bye.